In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the uh, other tools that we have available to modify existing entities in a diagram. So let's start off with, let's have a look first of all. The first one I'm going to look at is the trim tool. So let's have a look. Before I start a trim tool, I'm going to just draw a couple of lines. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line over here, and then I'm going to draw a vertical line that crosses that horizontal line. Okay. Now, I don't want it to, to cross like that. I want to shorten the vertical line so that it just um, touches onto the horizontal line. In this case, the trim tool is the tool that I need to do that. Okay. So I'm going to choose trim. And it says select the limiting entity. This is the entity that's going to limit the one that's going to get trimmed, okay, or the one that's going to change. So in this case, I want this vertical line to not go across the horizontal line. So the horizontal line is going to be the line that limits the vertical line. So I'm going to select the horizontal line as my limiting entity. And then it says select the entity to trim. And notice if I then select this line, see how it's trimmed the top off and it's now limited by that horizontal line. Okay, I want to just demonstrate something else quickly. So I'm just going to undo that and I'm going to do it again. So we're going to say trim and I'm going to select the horizontal line as the limiting entity again. Notice how it changes color to green. Now, if for example, I select the top part of this line, it's going to trim off the bottom part. So you want to be careful about which side of your limiting entity you select. Okay. And again, I'm going to undo that because I want to use these lines again. So that is then to trim one entity to match or to meet with a second entity. We have the limiting entity and we have the entity that we're going to trim. Another option is, and, and this is something that comes up very often in um, CAD drawings, is we have two lines that we've drawn and they cross, but we don't want them to cross. We actually want them to meet at the corner. So we have a tool here called Trim 2. All right. And again, it says select the first entity to trim. So I'm going to select the horizontal line. And then it says select the second entity to trim. I'm going to trim the vertical line. And notice now it trims both of them so that they meet exactly at the corner. Okay. I'm going to undo that and do it again. Trim 2. But this time I'm going to select the right-hand side of the horizontal line and the bottom of the vertical, and you see it trims it off in the other direction. Okay, I find this Trim 2 tool very useful. I use it a lot in many of the drawings. Okay, that's the two Trim tools. Trim will trim a single entity to meet up with a limiting entity. Trim 2 will trim two lines to meet at the same point. We then have a lengthen tool, okay? And this lengthen tool, we can either lengthen or shorten a line. Notice over here it says length 1. I'm going to change that to, let's make it 20. Okay. And if I then select the end of this horizontal line, okay, it suddenly gets a little bit longer. It's actually getting longer by 20 millimeters. And if I select it again, it gets longer again, and I can select the vertical line, and it gets longer by 20 millimeters on this end, and another 20 millimeters on that end. Okay, so we can lengthen a line by a specified amount. Okay. I can also shorten the line. If I make this, let's make this minus 50. So I'm lengthening the line by an amount of minus 50 millimeters. That is effectively shortening the line by 50 millimeters. Okay. Um, and if you notice also that there is a tick box over here, okay, so I'm going to put this, let's, let's make this 100, okay, positive 100, so it should be lengthening the line, but if I tick this box, okay, this is going to, instead of shortening the line by 100 millimeters, it's going to make the line exactly 100 millimeters long. So if I select this line, okay, this it's, it's, it's shortened, it's removed the part that I clicked on, and the remaining part is now exactly 100 millimeters long. Okay. So if you untick the box, it's going to make a relative change. It's going to make it longer by 100 mils or shorter by 50 mils like we did earlier. If you tick the box, it's going to make the line exactly that length. 
Okay. And again, let me undo that. All right, so those are the, the, the tools for trimming and um, um, lengthening line. Okay, thanks for watching.